has terminal cancer. The only treatment we can offer you now is palliative. No, this is it. I'm gonna die. Mum wants to see us married more than anything. And so I was thinking... I'm waiting. My Christmas wedding! Isn't it perfect? <laughs> Well, if Nicole wasn't in the picture, you might have a chance. The jugular vein hacked open. He was going to cut me. Why would he want to do that? Dave, he liked He was awful. Oh, no. She screwed with my hair just like she did with Nicole. That caught Carla. She manipulated oh, me. Was... She controlled me. It's over now. You're safe. I promise you she will never mess with you again. He's a guard at the women's prison. Got shacked at the inmates Christmas lunch. You sell, mate. Caught inside her head. Talking about owls and pussycats. Carla. Christmas song? I'm gonna punch. Oh, so same as last year then. I'll tell Damo to steer clear. Uh, I will thank you to remember that I have had a transformation since then. No booze, no gambling, and no commitment issues. Uh -huh. What? And we're gonna have to be sweating the side of the pandemic. Except uh, Tess and Tom are beating you to it tomorrow. Keep up, that wedding's off. And now it's back on. What? Well, they better bloody let me know. The pre-wedding dinner and the reception are supposed to be at the IV and, oh, they did let me know. Yeah, and here I am, no Roz, sorting last-minute bouquets. Oh, hi. Oh, <laughs> wonderful news. I'm so glad. Thank you. <laughs> and your mother is simply glowing. Oh, that'll be the happy news and the afternoon sun. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to come with you, Mum? Oh, no, it's just another blood test. I've had thousands. I'm no. fine. You're getting married tomorrow. I'm the last thing you need to be worried about. Hi. Okay, so now that the wedding's back on, I just want to go through a couple little... What are those? Tessa's flowers. No, they're not. Tess, look away. What? I said roses, Leah, not lilies. Dawn. Sorry. They're lovely. Yeah, well, of course they are. And as I'm doing this all last minute, you'll take what you can get. Yes. Thank you, Leah. Speak. No, I said I don't want fondant. I want buttercream. Don't worry, everything's at the control. I'll see you at <laughs> Okay, let's go through that order one more time. Hey. Mum's gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. Everything's gonna be okay. I love you. You love me. That's all that matters. Yeah. She's protecting her own airway. Heart rate, O2 stats, all normal. But she won't wake up. Yeah, and we need a head CT and trauma bloods. You sure you're okay to work on it with your history? Are you sure you are? She shouldn't be here. She can't be here. Why is she here? It's okay, babe. It's okay. Just breathe. Nicole, you okay? Uh, yeah, um... No. She's back. Who's back? Carla. The only thing worse than Christmas making you feel alone? Attending a wedding single. <laughs> Preach. Are you kidding? Being single at a wedding is the best. Oh, come on, what else are you going to do? Sit around at home wishing you had some mistletoe and someone to kiss. Oh, someone likes you. You better watch out for that mistletoe. Yeah, you better <laughs> believe it. I learnt my lesson with Prince. Work and romance. Oh, they do not mix. So, that's it? They can't do anything for it? It's so unfair. Poor Anita. Christmas is hard enough on her as it is. No family, no faith, and now no hope. I'm so sorry. At least she's got you. Shorten Street's own Christmas angel. I better get back. So, yes, in theory, if you can guarantee there'd be no other terrifying surprises. It was Vincent in a clown suit demo. He scared Nicole as well, not just me. Whatever. Well, nevertheless, I shall be Santa tomorrow, tis the season. Mm, in theory. Why can't she be transferred? Batshit crazy, kid stealing, hypnopsychotic Carla. Carla? Carla? Carla, is she here? Yes, Carla. Um, where is Bailey? Carla needs HDU. We're best equipped to where treat her. Where is Bailey? Is she safe? Just transfer her to another city if you have to. Well, make sure you won't have to work directly with her. I'm sorry. She's a fighter. And your mum will have a really great time. Thank you both so much. Love you. Love you too. And it really is so wonderful connecting with your daughter. And being here for her special day. And at Christmas too. 
I'm pleased to be here. I'm pleased to be alive long enough to see my girl so happy and in love. Oh, you okay? I should be. I'm on all the painkillers and now the bubbles. <laughs> well, quite. To love. To love. Are you kidding me? It's like they've never had a wedding in this church, let alone a teeny tiny socially distant one. Uh, why don't you turn that thing off and enjoy the night? Uh, because one of us has to make sure that these two actually get married after you nearly ruined it. That's red! Oh. Oh. oh, it's like blood everywhere. Jesus, calm down. Sorry, it's that Carla, all right? I, I can't go back to the hospital when she's there. You have to find yourself another Santa. Uh, don't you dare. She hypnotised me last time. I kissed her. She's a sexy homicidal maniac. Look, she's in a coma, OK? If she can force her will on you from that distance, then more power to her. Yeah, but, like... OK, I am the only woman here that has any sway on you. You got it? Got it, got it. So tomorrow you're going to put on that suit and you're going to go in there and you're going to shake your belly like a bowl full of jelly and you're going to Santa the crap out of those kids. Capiche? Uh, Tess and I just wanted to thank each and every one of you uh, for helping make tomorrow happen. For giving us the best Christmas present we could have hoped for. Mm -hmm. And for making my dreams come true. <laughs> and mine. Tomorrow is going to be perfect. But in the meantime, please eat, drink, be merry, relax. That means you, Dawn. <laughs> we love you all. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> cheers. Yes, cheers. <laughs> Long time no see. Are you sure this is a good idea? I need to do this. Yeah, I have to do this. Well, okay. I said if I ever saw you again that I would kill you. But now I see you, you're not worth the time. Or the hate. You can hear me, I can tell. But you can't hurt me. All the people I love, not anymore. You don't have the power over me anymore. You are nothing to me. Nothing. You are nothing. It's a lot having her here, I know. You're safe now. You've got me and I promise Carla is never going to hurt you again. wrong. You, on your own, for Christmas. You do? Deep breath, okay? Everything okay? I'm fine. You're not, and that's okay. Can you stop thinking that you know best about everything? You're seriously still going on about that? After today. I, I just hate her so much. Me too. So, cucumbers on your eyes, stay hydrated, and get a good night's sleep. <laughs> I will see you in the morning. It's gonna be the best Christmas wedding ever! <laughs> ah, this man. Best woman? I want Tom at the church, on time, in one piece, or I will murder you. Bye! Tess, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'll grab the car. We don't need you walking any further than you have to. No, I'm fine. <laughs> This is Paul. Come home with me. Believe me, I want to. Just do it. You're bad. Yeah, but you still love me anyway. <laughs> yeah, I do. Stay in mine. No, it's tradition. It's mm, tough tradition. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow. When you become my wife? Yeah. Mm. You become my husband. Good night. Good night. Was normal. Uh, yeah, no intracranial bleeding. Like you evil, filthy vermin!
Scum! Lucky me. I thought it was you. Surprise. Guess what? Yeah. Today you are gonna be getting a new daddy. Hey. And we're gonna be a family. He's gonna be so good to you. Everything's gonna be perfect. Finally. Here, here. Couldn't sleep? No, I'm so excited. Me too. Can I have a picnic? Yeah, you go have a picnic. <sighs> I'm so grateful to be here. I know I don't deserve it. Mum, don't say that. I want you to know that I'm here for you, always. And I'm, I'm so, so sorry that I wasn't before. You're such a wonderful mother, Tess. I only hope that I can be half as good for you from now on in whatever time I have left. I can't be crying now. I'm going to save that. But the church. Are you okay? Come on. Flowers to do. See you soon, honey. I love you. Right. Bye. Hey. He'll be okay. She was awake. She was pretending that whole time. She's under guard. So let's keep things normal for Billy, yeah? Yeah. And I'll be watching Carla every second. No, I'm staying away, and so should you. Well, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. The thing about Carla is the closer you are to her, the easier it is for her to get in your head. I can deal with her. And I couldn't? I said I would never let her hurt you again. I don't want her to hurt you either. No, I know, but if Carla thinks she can take the law into her own hands, well, guess what? So can I. Is it her here? Yes. Do you think it could be a high stop infection? Yeah, it could be. Or let's just wait for the CT scan. How are you feeling, Mum? Okay. Better. I'm so sorry. Today of all days. No, I just want you well. It was the excitement of the day. You should go home and get ready. What? I won't be long. No, we can't have the wedding today. Oh, no, don't be silly. It's what you want. It's what I need. I'll be out of here in no time. I will. I promise. They're ready for your CT scan. Let's go see what's going on. Hopefully we can get this bride to the church on time. Megan, Tess, what's going on? Oi, don't you look at her. It's bad luck. Hey, it's me. Hey, it's OK. I'm here. Everything's going to be OK. I just call my mum back. I can't lose her now. Not today. Good morning, Maeve. How is he? Your love? How's the pity? How's Nicole? She seemed upset last night. No. You don't get to talk about Nicole. Don't be like that. I'm serious. So I'm going to be here, making sure you don't get a chance to hurt her. I love Nicole. I never wanted to hurt her. You must know that. Deep down. You kidnapped Billy. You could have killed him. I would never let that happen. No, I would never let that happen. Look, I don't know what kind of game you're playing, but if you think for one second you're going to get close to Nicole or Billy again, or anyone I love, you're wrong. Last night, I was trying to protect someone I love, just like you. By pretending to be unconscious and trying to kill a patient. If you knew what he did, you'd have done the same thing. We're not so very different, you and I. I'm nothing like you. Nothing like you. So, the beautiful Tess is getting married. How do you feel about that?
Merry Christmas. It's not merry for everyone, Viliami. We can't always assume. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, no. It's okay. Just ignore me. Like my family. Why aren't you at home with your family? Uh, workmates are family, too. Just bringing some presents for the Christmas tree, maybe. Even something for you. Philly. What? It's Christmas. Stop saying that. Right. Sorry. Don't mind me. You should go. Sure. I'll see you in there. Maybe. He's a dish. <laughs> OMG, I just heard. Okay, take a deep breath, calm down. This doesn't mean we've got to postpone the wedding. Yes, it does. There's no way we're going ahead. Wouldn't be right, then. No, 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 no! The show must go on, no offence. Go on. She's right, Tess. Go and call the church and tell them we might be a bit late. I'll be right behind you. No, I'm not leaving you. <gasps> well, at least go and get a cup of tea. Maybe that's not such a bad idea. Chris will stay with me. He'll call you when the results are in. Won't you, Chris? Of course. I'm not going anywhere. No matter what this is, I don't want it to stop the wedding, okay? Tess won't go ahead if you're sick. I know. That's what I'm saying. I can't ruin this for her. Come to tell me it's good news? I'm sorry, Megan. You have a subacute bowel obstruction. Meaning? Part of your bowel has been blocked by a tumour. You need surgery to save what we can. Surgery? Today. How about tomorrow? Megan, no. The next 24 hours are crucial. We can postpone the wedding. I'm dying. Anyway, Chris, if Tess postpones the wedding, I might never get to see her married at all. Tomorrow, I'm yours. Today, my baby girl's getting married and I'm gonna be there to see her happy and safe. And you cannot say a word. Imagine if Christmas was canceled. <coughs> Luckily, we'd still be bringing the ultimate gift of laughter. You guys give up or you're thirsty for more? Home Alone, Christmas Eve. Get this foul little pervert away from me. You don't give orders. You probably shouldn't be here, Vincent. Yeah, uh, Carla's obs are looking good, but we need to do some more bloods. I'll take care of it. On your own? Maeve doesn't want you either. That's enough. I'll be fine. Are you sure? Yeah, we should probably get back to our day. I'm gonna take some blood. Is that okay? He Was that okay? Please answer the question. He touched me. Without consent. What are you saying? Don't play dumb. Are you making an official complaint? They never believed me. What? I was locked up. He was a doctor. Vincent? You're lying. What kind of woman are you? I'm not here for your poison, Carla. I'm here for your blood. Nicole needs to watch her back. Is that a threat? He's a threat. He's obsessed with you, and Nicole's in the way. One more word about Nicole and you will regret it. Be angry at him. Shut up! You are not messing with my head. Why are you even here, Maeve? Just doing my job. I'm boycotting your best friend's wedding. You don't even want Tom. You just want him to want you. Maeve the woke and wonderful, and the mask is slipping, and the ugly is showing. I warned you. And soon Nicole will see she married a monster. Oh, mother of the bride, be careful, do not crinkle your frock. So where's Tess? Uh, I've been told she's moments away. Okay, and did you learn your dance moves? Yes, we got the video. We've been practicing all night. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? <laughs> what is it? Can we have a picture? Of course. 
Are you all right? Oh, absolutely. Right as right. Oi! What's the hold up? Don't make me come up there! Friends, family, loved ones. Presenting our beautiful bride. So beautiful. You are. Oh, your friend's ass. Hi. You're not crying already. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe in. Oh, it's all Carla's fault. I bloat when I'm stressed. Just knowing she's in the building with her pipno tentacles reach around every corner. Can we not talk about Carla, please? Oh, look, it's no good. It's no good. We're going to have to start from the bottom up. Oh. Ah. <laughs> sorry, no, sorry, no. sorry. Oh, how do I look? Stunning. Oh, what a day. Worked an entire shift in Christmas and now the wedding. Babe, what a shame you can't come. Oh, uh, yeah, last minute reduced numbers. Yeah, no, you and Tom are so close. I feel like we're the ones taking up space. You're not. We're just across the road if you want to. You I'll know. be working. Okay, great. We'll have a good day, both of you, and I'll try to stream some photos later. That would be great. What's with you? Don't worry about it. It's her, isn't it? Carla's getting to you. I'm fine. Can you just keep away? She could have killed that person. And guard. I will kill her if she yeah, tries to hurt you. Please, stay away, please. Ho, ho, ho. All zipped up and good to go. Do you have any paint, Anita? Mm, just a little sleepy. Must be the sunshine. Ho, ho, ho. No, no, no. That wasn't very nice. I nearly killed this kid. Santa is for everyone. Even drunk drivers and people who don't like Christmas. Well, I might not hate this Christmas. Really? Yeah. It's my last one. Might as well try to enjoy it. Might even get my wish. What's that? No, don't tell me. Uh, to see my sister Nina one last time. Is she not in America? No, she lives here too. Ferndale. Have you called her? You must call her. I did. And? Left a message. No reply. Perhaps she didn't get it. No. Nah. It's been over ten years and I was a vicious destructive drunk. She can't forgive me. Kind of like Santa. <laughs> wow. That's what I said. <laughs> it's a shame more of us couldn't be here. Yeah, it's not just the restrictions, though. Some of us are late. You took your time. Good. Oh, I told you we'd be late. Well, is the bride here? No, she should be. No, oh, we're not late. Uh, maybe she changed her mind. Oh, don't say that. I reckon he's thinking it too. Where is she? Hey, brides always do this. You need a drink? No, pass. Stay right here. Ollie. We should, um, get inside. Yeah. Shall we? I'd be honoured. Uh, kid to accompany a lowly HCA? Uh, soon to be nurse, resetting his exam. Thank you, <laughs> Let's go. This is. Mm hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. Inside, people! Move it, move it! What the hell is happening? Where is she? Okay, she's in the next car. She's on her way. What are you doing? You should be inside with Tom. Just giving him a bit of Dutch courage for his nerves. Oh, I said I'm all good. I'm all good. Oh, no, 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 no. Ugh, yuck. What? I'm nervous too. I'm like running the show on my own. It wasn't just whiskey. What? What are you talking about? It was going to be some fun for Tom. And for me. What have you done? Buckle up, bridesmaidzilla. We're going on a trip. <laughs> These holidays. You got a good. <laughs> Don't weddings make you feel so romantic? Totally. I don't know. They make me feel a little lost. Like I couldn't even make such a big commitment. <laughs> so. What if I start saying things? What if I think the 
walls again again. What if I jump off the roof because I think I can fly? Dawn, I will promise I will keep you firmly on the ground. You're going to be flying too. No, I'm serious. Okay, go, 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 and be cool. You be cool. <laughs> Ready, mate? So funny. Everything. I love you, mate. Let's do this. Ready to start your new life? Yeah. I'm ready. That man you tried to hurt, the prison guard, he's gonna be okay. You lose again. He's a predator. He has a family and children. And who's protecting them? I promise to love you, cherish you, and hold you for as long as we both shall live. So beautiful. Yeah. What's wrong with Dawn? She's full of love. Full of something. <laughs> um, I give you this ring. <sighs> Sorry. Love you. <clears throat> um, I give you this ring as a symbol of our love. Let it remind you every day that you are my world, that I will love you, hold you, cherish you, and protect you for as long as we both shall live. <laughs> Seal your marriage with a kiss. <laughs> How are we feeling? My new best friend, the Magic 8-Ball, says my sister is going to come and see me. It's a Christmas miracle. The Lord is our shepherd. Hey, pushing your luck with the God stuff. Sorry. Maybe I'm going to push my luck, too. You shake it. You are my good luck charm. Okay. Magic 8-Ball, am I going to beat this disease that's killing me? Signs point to yes. <laughs> Well, that's bullshit. But at least I'm going to see my sister again. Thanks to you. Like a Christmas kaleidoscope of love. So pretty. You're pretty. <laughs> pretty wasted. <laughs> Don and I seem pretty happy out there. Mm. Not as happy as me. <laughs> Husband? Hello, wine. Oh, look, I'm so in love. <laughs> My gosh, darling. You know, Tilly keeps asking when we're going to get hitched. She keeps asking me the same thing. <laughs> What'd you tell her? <laughs> Your mascara is still on there. Ha ha ha, Crying more than Tessa's mum. Uh, leave him alone. It was cute. <laughs> come on, everybody, it's time for the bouquet. Oh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, come on, you're single. Thank you for reminding me. What 
What's the matter? Are you afraid of a little competition? <gasps> oh. Okay, everybody, boy, girl, gay, straight, trans, cis, young, old, grab the bouquet like it owes your money, but you're gonna be single and Are you ready? You think I want to grab that bouquet? Sorry, Chris. I, I'm just freshen up. Mom, that's you too. Oh, no, I think I'm done with marriage. I'll leave it to the young one. Right, you're on. <laughs> Where are you going? I am under strict instructions from Tilly to catch that boat <laughs> All right, is that everyone? Hey, you did it, eh? I can't believe she actually trusts me. I can't believe you wasted half your life mooning over that maid. <laughs> hey, she can't be happy if you screw her. At least you made the mum happy. Are you guys ready? Of course. This is the happiest day of my life. Mine too. Ho, ho, yo! Are we something for our warriors working on a public holiday? Cheers. Ho, ho, ho. Hello, Damon. I shouldn't be here. Merry Christmas. You're on the naughty list. Just like the low-life lady drunk driver that nearly killed my son. Oh, goodness. Is Donny okay? Oh, you remember his name? Of course. But what about Bella? Huh? You remember him? How could you do that, Carla? Stealing Nicole's boy. I should never have done that. What's wrong with you? Hurting a kid. I lose myself sometimes. But I could never knowingly hurt a child. I couldn't. Well, I... you should... Look, just take it. Here's your stinking present. But Damo, I'm on the naughty list, remember? Yeah, that's right, where you belong. Perhaps you could be on the naughty list too. Set me free. No? Yes. You're doing that thing. What a beautiful Santa you are. Because love is everywhere tonight. Like, I can Tess is it. such a beautiful bride. Yeah, it Tess looks like a million bucks, but I'm sorry. This reception sucks. See? Oh, hey, babe. Check it out. Our wedding is going to be so much better. Jeez, who emptied your sack? in the way of that. You just can't. And I've tried. Never would have worked with me and Tess. What? How are you supposed to compete with a guy like Tom? You don't. That is true love, like Esther and Curtis. Yeah. Hi, Ali. Thank you, Tom. How are you doing? Yeah, do you enjoy yourself? <laughs> Thank you so much for being so wonderful with her. My mum's trying, but she's... I've hurt Chris, not wanting to catch your bouquet. Oh, oh I love it a Marriage again. I don't really... Oh, I'm sorry, what an awful thing to say to my bride. <laughs> no, it's no, fine. No, it's terrible. I'm just a little bit lost, I suppose. Yeah. I was lost too, but then I found Tom. I guess love sometimes scares me. Well, life is short, Vivian. And Chris is amazing. Don't be afraid. Nick, pack up. How the hell did this happen? We have to get out of here. No, we need to find Carla. She wants to hurt me again. Nicole's not answering. Yeah, me either. Find her. Find my girl. And I'll have to go to Belly. This place is crawling. 
wedding with cops inside and out. But look, we can't mess with the wedding the same way Carla messed with Damo, so I haven't called Chris. Screw Chris, he doesn't give a shit. Hey, wash your mouth out. Uh, May, wh where are you going? What are you doing? She's after Nick. No, Carla's after me. I know, you've got history, but why would she bother? Leave that to the police. The law it doesn't work. This will. You could kill someone. Up next on to Get Rides made Dawn for putting together such a, a wonderful wedding at such short notice. Mm. Um, where is Dawn? I'm here! It's okay, I got it. <laughs> Have you, you got tests over oh, happily ever after? Yes, I do. <laughs> and I got you. Um, lastly, I wanted to say to the mother of the bride, I promise to love, cherish, hold and protect both of your girls. Tess and Emily, forever and always. Thank you. I love you, Tess. <laughs> I love you, Tom. So beautiful. Oh, I think it's special wedding night's time. I hope everybody knows the moves because I sent you the link and my... Oh, my legs feel funny. Whoop, whoop. Ooh, <laughs> May I have this dance? Yes, you may. Beacon, you did it. You saw Tess married. Did this get you back to the hospital? No, no, I'm taking it every second. And if tonight kills me, I'll die a happy woman. Shall we dance? I'd be honoured. Your sister's here. Anita? Merry Christmas to me. I never believed her about her stepfather. I still can't believe she forgave me. Tess loves you. Love conquers all. Let him go. Just a few more seconds. Let him go or die. <laughs> How could you do this, Lord? How could you be so cruel? Hey, it's okay. What are you doing? Now where the hell's Nicole? You're with Jojo. She's having your baby. For the last time, leave me alone! Merry Christmas, Mrs. Griffiths. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. Make a wish. It's already come true. Make another. I wish that tonight would last forever. Chris's office. To keep Nicole safe. Where is she? Here. Leave her alone. Shut up. So beautiful. So happily ever after. Don't touch her! Do it! With her handsome new husband, it's a Christmas dream come true. So hold on and never let go. We can all be safe and secure. of our soulmates and dance and be happy and live every day.
I've ever seen. Good Lord. Why does he not cry? Ho. Oh. Oh. What did he say? <laughs> ho, ho. Oh, he's perfect in every way. What shall we name him? My father was called Nicholas. Yes. Nicholas Claus. My Saint Nicholas. Frederick, would you like to come and meet your brother? Fred loved Nicholas from the first moment he met him. In fact, that day, he made him a promise. I promise to be the best big brother in the whole world, Nicholas. Oh! <laughs> but Fred's promise is just the beginning of his story. You see, sometimes it's easier to make a promise than it is to keep one. Nicholas, I made this for you. Happy birthday. I thank you, Frederick. That was very nice, Frederick. Nicholas, where are you going? There's a poor orphan named Henry who lives down the road. I'm bringing all my gifts to him. He needs them more than I. That's lovely. Do you really think Henry needs a journal with the name Nicholas on the cover? Frederick, it's a saintly thing he does. My little Saint Nicholas. And so it went for Fred. Every time he managed to make his parents proud... Frederick, don't you look nice. Nicholas managed to make his parents prouder. The door's locked, so I decided to drop down the chimney. What fun! <laughs> Nicholas. The door locked will not just knock. Because he's inventive. I made the outfit myself, Mother. I wouldn't go telling people that. Really, Frederick? Why can't you be more like your brother? I don't wish to hate him. He means well. And I promise to be the best big brother in the world. You're the only one who understands me, Churchill. Poor Fred. Is this for me? That tree was the last straw. He began to resent his brother, his parents, and even his life. Nicholas, why don't you open yours first? Oh! Spin it. Spin it. <laughs> and like many unhappy children, why didn't you open yours? he became angry. Not even. <laughs> 